I keep meaning to remember to do this, but then I keep forgetting to do this. Well, it's not so much forgetting as it is remembering at inconvenient times. See, my sleep day-night cycle schedule is not like the most aligned with the rest of the world by default. Uh, but then I'm a YouTuber on top of that, which means I don't have any time I need to get up, which means a lot of the time when I remember that I have this calendar to open, it's like well past 5 p.m. <laughs> Um, because it's like, oh, yeah, I should probably do that in the morning. And then, like, some hours pass and whatever, and then, like, it's 1 a.m. and it's the next day, which I'm saying, oh, shit, I have to open more. Okay, I'll do it once I wake up. Uh, so it just got pushed and pushed. Um, but that means now more chocolate for me all at once. So maybe it's not such a bad thing, really. Open up little magnetized thing. I think the sixth was when I forgot... Uh, so we've done the sixth, right? Yes. Which means the seventh. With the over here, that's the seventh. Let's give you a closer look at the artwork. It's a couple of poros. And I think it's Nunu and Willem's shadow. They are hovering over them, looking kind of ominous. Let's see what the thing has to say. Far from the clearing, the two friends continue to roam the Freljord. Suddenly, Willem's ears twitch. Someone is nearby. Mm -hmm. The Yeti looks around and finally spots the suspects, a small Poro family. And it really is like Mama Poro <laughs> and Dad Poro and the kids. God damn nails. I have nails, I swear. But doing it with one hand while the calendar just keeps moving away from you. Ah. I should really put this thing on a tripod or something. Eh. Yeah. Ah ha ha. So, the eighth. Oh, it's all the way up here. All right. Uh, don't fall over. Okay. That seems to be Willem throwing a snowball at Nunu. Let's see. Look! Mommy and Daddy Poro with their little family. Nunu looks... Oh, <laughs> Nunu looks sadly at... The little balls of fur. I'm his mama, Willump. A thick lump sticks in his throat. Willump hesitates for a moment, but then reaches down to the ground in the cold slow snow. Splat! A thick snowball lands in Nunu's face. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like um, Nunu's family were part of a, like a, a family of, of nomads, and their caravan got raided, possibly at Lysandra's behest. And then he got taken by the Frost Guard to Lysandra's Ice Citadel, where she was basically just, like, grilling him for arcane secrets and legends of his people that might lead her to magical artifacts. Um, but his mom wasn't there. <laughs> she didn't get saved, air quotes, by the Frost Guard. And the implication is that she might uh, be less than alive. Which, you, hang on, wait a minute. Which, you know... It always has lent kind of a dark edge to Nunu's story. Hang on, wait a minute. Is that like a pull tab? Well, it's not that much good if I have to... I right, got my nails. Oh, that was been here the whole time. Well, that makes it a lot easier. I didn't realize those were even there. Two pieces of chocolate. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway... On to the ninth, which is down here. Oh, hey, look at that. Brom is here. Uh, before the boy can react, he feels a huge door lift over him, intercepting more snowballs. Oh, okay. Brom is here for you. It really is him. Brom, the hero from his songs, reaches out to Nunu and helps him up. Yeah, yeah. Aha. And it's another chocolate. Fancy that. Don't fall over. Okay, what's the date today? Because it's like, it's 1 a.m. Uh, it's the 11th now, technically, because it's like past 1 a.m. when I'm recording this. Because my life is like that. Uh, let's see, the 10th. Well, the 11th is up here. Aha! Hey, snowball fight with Brom and the Poros. 
A wild snowball fight breaks out. The white balls fly thunderously through the air. You can hear laughter, roars, and heavy hits. The worries are forgotten. The tears dried and frozen. For the moment, everything is fine. There were these goddamn pull tabs there all along. Making it so much easier. And then the 11th is snow sliding with Brom. After the big battle, Brom tells them about a nearby village that Nunu and Willem could visit. The small troop sets off and starts the journey with a snow surfing contest down the White Hill. The art on this thing is really genu genuinely lovely. Yeah, it's another chocolate! Hooray! God, we really are coming along in the month, aren't we? Hey. Yeah. Christmas is coming. Whew. I need Christmas. God, I need Christmas. Yeah. Because it's... It's going to be a stressful start to the year this year. I hope. I hope it is. It would be stressful for good reasons. Again, still being coy, because can't say anything yet. Um, but, oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be stressful. I may have to switch my plans. And instead of taking December off, take like February off or something, because January. Oh, boy. I'm looking forward to it, though. I really am. Uh, yeah, how the hell, man, it's, it just came into my head, like, the pandemic and Christmas and the ways that it's fucked with it, because, like, because, like, last year I didn't get to go. We were in lockdown completely. I, I didn't get to go at all. But this year... Or was that the year before? Fuck, I don't know. When we were in luck, we were, it's been a... Oh, God, it's been so long. Um, but yeah, the thought that entered my head is like... Like, for a moment, I was like... I was thinking of, of oh, this year's Christmas is finally going to be normal. But then it was like, no, because of the Omicron variant. And, like, I'm still not 100%. Like, depending on how the numbers shake out, I'm still not 100% on whether travel will be... I mean, I'm fully vaccinated, but... I don't have my booster yet, and who knows what the fucking restrictions are going to be up to Christmas, and yeah, I, it's still not normal, is it? It's still not normal. Or rather, and this is the more worrying thing, it is becoming normal. I don't know, that's a Christmas cheery thought.